uh, Germany over a series of years has been looking at the opportunity to evaluate a number of uh, candidate solutions for their air and missile defense activities. So recently, uh, at the uh, last summer, Germany made a selection to go with a program that had been put together by M MBDA and Lockheed Martin uh, called MEADS. Uh, the program in Germany now is TLVS to provide the Germans a, a capability for a 360 degree system that is a plug and play system that you can put different sensors in, different weapons in, different battle managers in to make it unique to the country. And currently, within Germany, Lockheed Martin and MBDA are preparing a proposal uh, that will go into the German government in the third quarter of this year. And we are looking for contract award either late this year or early next year for the TLVS system in Germany. As we go forward between now uh, and the end of the year for contract signature, uh, we have a full team at Schrobenhausen in Germany, an MBDA team and a Lockheed Martin team working together to pull this proposal together. Uh, we are working with the German government on the uh, request for proposal that we have received. Uh, as we pull this proposal together, uh, we are looking to put the proposal in uh, to submit the proposal in the third quarter of this year uh, for contract award either late this year or early next year. Uh, so that's the plan going forward within Germany. Uh, one nice thing about this is that the requirements that we see in Germany are very similar to some of the requirements we see in other European countries. But one of the very interesting things I think about the uh, about the Mead slash TLVS program in Germany is there are a number of European countries that have very similar requirements that the Germans have. So we have been out and we have talked to a number of other European partner countries that need a system like this. Uh, a couple that come to mind very quickly is we have been in talking to Poland about Poland's capability and where they want to go with a program called Visla. Uh, we have also talked to the Turks about possibilities in Turkey for a system that is built on this same kind of architecture that we see the Mead system was built on and now TLVS is built on. Yes, in, in addition to uh, the, you know, Germany, uh, Poland, Turkey, one great thing about this system and the open, open architecture of this system is that other countries can come in and not buy a total system, but buy parts of the system that can go into a plug-and-play architecture. So if we have a country that doesn't want to buy an entire system, they could buy a surveillance radar, uh, they could buy a fire control radar, and it get integrated into this network solution that we're talking about on this system that I think will be the backbone of air defense within the European area. Uh, Mead, Meads International, uh, that, make it, that are made up by MBDA and Lockheed Martin, have both worked very closely with Polish government and Polish industry on the possibility of collaborating on the Visla program. Uh, we have we have gone in. We've spent a lot of time with Polish industry. Uh, we've worked with PGZ and a lot of the PGZ companies to look at technologies associated with their capabilities and what we would what the type of work that we would put into Poland as a true partnership. We have taken the next step with uh, with Poland and gone forward and said, Poland, uh, the Polish government can come in and be a true partner on the Meads program, where they can have a third of the overall Meads franchise with Poland, with Germany, slash Italy, and with the United States.